Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, independent stamping up a demonstrator. Today I'm here to show you the new colors that are coming out, the in colors, in the 2023 to 24 annual Stampin' Up! catalog that comes out May 4th, I believe, and runs till the beginning days of January in 2024. <laughs> Yes, that's the dates. Yeah, crazy. So I wanted to show you these real quick just to jump on and uh, see what I got in my um, pre-order. I am waiting one other pre-order because we can't expedite our um, catalogs. Um, and I bought an extra box of catalogs and I have some other things coming in that one. Uh, so here we go. Look at these colors. Now they are not as bright and striking as our last set of in colors that'll be carrying over. But I'm telling you that these are beautiful earth tone colors. I am in love with them. Now, I'm going to try to show you a little comparison um, with these colors. The new in colors are going to be Wild Wheat. So I want to show you here this uh, these new in color packs. I absolutely adore them. They have great patterns in them that will just go perfectly with other papers and just a nice, not, uh, other than these hearts that have like a, you know, kind of a motif with them, the stripes and these little hash mark tick marks and the polka dots, I just think are perfect patterns. So this first color is wild wheat. Now, if you look at this, you're thinking, um, and I'm not even sure how well it's showing up, on the camera here but it's kind of um if you remember we had like a dijon now this um delightful dijon was a lot yellower this has a tone of a i would say kind of a um a little bit of a greenish and a brown in it but just a beautiful neutral color there and of course it's going to come with new blends your ink pad and your refills and also it has a perfect match with the ribbon i really really like that our um glittery uh ribbon with our other in colors that are sticking around it's a little bit um different because it has the glitter in it but these i are just a perfect perfect match so wild wheat will be one of those the next one here is our pebbled path now look how pretty this pebbled path is too now when you're looking at this you're seeing like you know your uh your gray tones there so if you look at one that we had before which was tip top taupe it's a little bit lighter and then if you take a peek here, you're gonna see it'll go nicely with our basic gray and our smoky slate and our gray granite. So it's gonna be a nice complementary color to those grays that we have. And again, it's going to come with our In Color Designer Series paper and the blends, ink, ink refills, and check that out this beautiful ribbon oh I love this ribbon it's so pretty and it's just such a perfect match so let me put those guys back and the next color on my list here is this beautiful beautiful um moody moth and yes I am saying beautiful a lot of people are saying where is this coming from but you know what oh no I'm sorry this isn't moody mauve this is our you're thinking wow the stamping up is really off on this one this is copper clay and that it is um one of my favorites um in the lineup but i do like the moody mauve okay i'll gush over moody mauve in a minute but this is our um copper clay and this is another beautiful uh neutral that we can really use with these florals and with any type of um, a masculine type card and this color kind of um, reminds me of a Cajun craze, but it's it's warmer. It's more earthier than the brightness of the Cajun craze. Have you ever heard Cajun craze called bright? <laughs> so that's going to be another beautiful one along with all of our ink pads and our beautiful ribbon. Look at that ribbon. It's just absolutely perfect match. So that's going to be a pretty one. The clay, copper clay, 
And then we're going to go on to our Moody Mauve. And I do like this because I was a lover of two other colors that we had in our um, in colors before. And those were Rococo Rose and Sweet Sugar Plum. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I loved these two colors when they were in our lineup. So just seeing that we have a color similar to that, and this color is around. You may be thinking mauve, it's just such a weird word to say, but I'm going to have some fun with this moody mauve. <laughs> I love that color. So again, we've got the pretty ribbon that goes with that perfect match with our ink pads and our blends, and then a beautiful color, another blue. Um, this is boho blue, and it comes with that really pretty designer series paper again. And our ribbon, ink pads. Check out that beautiful blue. Okay, and if you're trying to wrap your head about what kind of a blue that is. So here is our current balmy blue. This really reminds me of like a sky blue. And then remember we had seaside spray. So it's a little darker than the seaside spray. So like I said, once you get these in your hands, you are really gonna love that. And speaking of, um, I'll be doing a product share with um, items from the annual catalog. And so I'll be putting that up by the end of this week, by Friday, I'll have that up maybe sooner. Um, and you can um, get a sampling of the papers, designer series papers, and I may have a little treat in there of some uh, samples of cardstock so you can see this stuff in person when you get your paper share. It comes with these great markers and all, and we have a new marker line coming out. So every one of our color families, we will have a new marker line. And the nice thing about this new, these new markers, let me see, why don't I just take the um, boho blue, okay? So the boho blue, it now has on our, the fine tip side, a, um, a what, like a bullet tip, a bullet tip instead of that plastic tip. So we're looking at really being able to, to use um, that marker nicely. And it, since it's felt, I think we're gonna have no more dried out markers. Um, it's gonna be great for filling in little places on your stamped image that need filled in. So these new markers are awesome. And then you still have your traditional, um, you know, brush tip side. So you'll wanna do that. And we do have the new color lineup coming out. So with that new color lineup are, are gonna be all brand new markers in those color lines. And so I'll have those on my blog. On my blog post, you will see the new color lineup of all the new colors come out. Now let's take a look and see what these colors look like stamped, okay? Oh wow, I thought I had opened up all of my new ink pads. Oh, it's so fun opening up new ink pads. Did you know on the back of these ink pads, this back here, um, you can pull these off. Okay, let's just take off the right one. There's Boho Blue. And that is where you put your label on your ink pads. There we go. So you can put it there. Now there's three other ones in different languages. Oh wait, well they gave us two in English. Normally there aren't two. Oh, I like that. They gave us two in English and a blank one. Wow, that's awesome. It used to be in the different languages and then I would, you know, cut off little pieces there and put it on my uh, a spot if I didn't have a spot in that color. So that is awesome. Two of them in English and then you have one down here. This You can wrap them around the base of your, well, it's just here. You could wrap them around the top of your inker, re-inker, but you can use these pieces. Some people will put one on the side some will um, even put it on the front and a lot of demonstrators will put it right in here, which is a really great one because you know when ink pads are opened up, they all look the same, it seems. So here we go. We're just going to do a little sample of the Boho Blue. So I'm gonna use the Irresistible Blooms. Oh, I can't wait till those are back in order. I've got a list a mile long for people who are looking for this, this beautiful stamp set. Okay, so here we go. 
Now this of course is going to draw, um, dry a lot lighter. It's going to dry almost the color of that marker that I wrote with. So this is just a beautiful blue. And I do like that it has a more um, a dusty to it than our balmy blue, which is beautiful. I love balmy blue. So we are going to um, take a look at this other new, eh, we might as well just do it on here. Let's take a look at the copper clay and see how that looks. Now I cleaned off my ink pad and we're just going to put a copper clay on here. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I love that. Let me get my, let me get a, um, get my chamois out here. Okay, and then let's see what our mob looks like here. Oh, these beautiful new in colors. Oh, that mob is pretty. Let me do that again. I didn't leave it down long enough. Oh, that's, I can't wait to see how these look when they dry. I should have done them ahead of time so that you could have seen them there. Okay, let's try our pebbled path. Here we go. Yes, that would have been a really good idea to... Okay, let's put our pebble path on here. Ooh, that, I'm, I'm, I'll be interested to see how that one dries out too. Because looking at that one, it seems like it has a little bit of a greenish tone to it. But once again, did you notice how things dry a lot different than, than we, when we first stamp it? So what did we do? We did our boho blue, our copper clay, our moody mauve, our pebbled path, Oh, and I stuck our wild wheat over off my desk. So let's see what this wild wheat looked like. Do you ever get these sometimes with the new ink pads? Just pull those little pieces of plastic off of there. That just from the opening of the new ink pad. Okay, so here we go. This is our wild wheat. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. And once again, I can't wait till that dries there. Those are the new colors. Now, while we're talking about the new in colors, we may as well take a peek at the new colors that are coming in the lineup. We've never seen before. Pecan pie, Azure afternoon, Azure. Azure. You say Azure, I say Azure, Azure, but it's not Azure. <laughs> Azure or Azure. Um, bubble bath and lemon lolly. So let's take and do a little coloring with these ones. Now, let me show you the ink. I mean, the color, the, okay. I have to say this bubble bath to me is a little purpley, oh, there we go, is a little purpley than I would have wanted for a pink. So let's do a little stamp here. Oh, but that is pretty. That is a pretty, that it does stamp more pretty pink. But see how it's kind of close to our fresh freesia that's coming back? So we were able to keep that in color. Um, so actually, when I look at it now, it does seem more on our pink line. So we've got pink, and that's bubble bath. And where did I put the ink pad? Okay. Now let's look at the next one. We have pecan pie. So pecan pie is, I would say close in our line to our, I think this is going to be our new soft suede. Um, it's not as dark, but it's, and it's darker than our, um, 
cinnamon cider was. Our cinnamon cider had a little more gingerbready color. This I think is gonna be probably our new replacement for soft suede. And that again is pecan pie. Oh gosh, pecans, my fave. Okay, I cleaned off my ink pad. I mean my ink, my, wanna make sure before I, well, it wouldn't be the worst thing if pink went into brown color, huh? So here's pecan. So I'm putting it right by the wild wheat. So you can see it's a nice brown. And of course I didn't stamp it down fast enough. I'm a little excited here. Um, and then let's make sure we definitely have that cleaned off to do a lemon lolly. And let me see if we can put lemon lolly because she's a pretty little girl. Ooh, okay. And let's get that inked up and let's see what lemon lolly looks like. Oh, that's a nice, pretty bright one. <laughs> it actually, the color of it is, it, to me, it seems like a more subdued pineapple punch. So it looks like to me a little bit, um, where's my pineapple punch? I can't get my hands on it right now. It looks like if you lightened pineapple punch, um, it's not as uh, dusky as so saffron and not as bright as daffodil. So I think that's gonna be a pretty one. It's bright, it's stamped pretty bright there. Okay, and then the next one is, okay. We're gonna stamp on the back of that. Azure Afternoon, Azure, Azure. I have to ask my mom how she says that. Um, let me just clean off my Irresistible Blooms bloom. And let's, I do have a little fleck of plastic from my ink pad being just opened up. Clean that off. Okay. And then ink up. Oh, it's going to be a pretty blue. Oh, is that pretty? Okay, this is um, a pretty color for, it's, it's lighter than Pacific Point, definitely different than our blue that's in balmy blue. And then the boho, also, it's a brighter um, than boho blue. So that's going to be a great new color coming into the lineup as well. And the returning ones that you guys may already have are Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, Blueberry Bushel, and Lemon Lime Twist. So you've got those, and Lost Lagoon. So you've got some other pretty colors that are coming back into the lineup. So that's gonna be fun. Now let's take a look at the designer series paper I was able to get while it was on pre-order. So um, as a demo, if you would sign up as a demo now, you could also do pre-order. And it is, let me get this here. I don't wanna jab my paper here. We've got some really pretty papers coming out. So let me show you. This is the Countryside Inn. I think it's gonna be one of my faves here. All these beautiful blues here. Let me move these out of the way here. Not enough space here. So we've got the pretty blues in here. We've got Balmy Blue, Boho Blue, Misty Moonlight. Oh, I forgot to tell you that one was coming out. And Night of Navy. So you are just have the perfect blues coming out. I think it's, oh, look at those bunnies. Oh, how pretty. See, I'm looking at this for the first time too. Oh, and those beautiful stripes. Oh my gosh. Look at those birds and the flowers on that one. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, this is beautiful paper with all those blues that you can mix and match. Oh, look at those medallion. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Let me move this one over. Oh, some stripes. Oh, these little foxes on this one with, let's put the little foxes there, and a poke, oh my gosh, this, this is the one you need to order right away when it comes out, because this one is going to fly off the shelves, oh my gosh, how beautiful, and this designer series paper comes in a sweet, let me, do you know how much fun this is, and if you could see 
how much stuff is on my desk right now. This comes in a suite with the countryside corners and the um, and the countryside corners dies. <laughs> I was like, what is the name of that? The um, dies because you know they're all the same name now. So this has the great layering. Ooh, there we go. Great layering dies and a little sentiment for um, the really tiny little uh, sentiments that we have now. And this is just a great layering die set. And you can stamp them and you can also make frames by putting one inside the other. So this, I predict this is going to be one of our number one sellers, I bet. The Countryside Corners dies. So beautiful. So that is something new I'll be playing with here in this next week. And so let's take a look at this gorgeous paper here also. And this one is called Fresh as a Daisy. And it's also a suite that's gonna be in the new catalog, a collection. And I love this, this piece here. Look at that pretty peacock in there because you can easily use this piece of, um, it might be a little difficult with my paper share cutting this one, but those can just be used as your main image on your card. So you've got this pretty piece. Oh, and there's the mauve, isn't that pretty? Ooh, and this one comes with the collection, um, the daisy, cheerful daisies. So let's take a look at all of that pretty paper. Ooh. I'm thinking that's pebbled. We're gonna take a look in a second because I'm seeing pretty peacock in this pattern here. These beautiful daisies. Oh, look at that bright, that pretty green in there with, oh, I'm so happy peacock is back. It was such a, a royal color. Um, and then we've got, ooh, some of that pretty wild wheat, the new in color there and some wild wheat in here. So this will be, um, except for, don't you just, Oh, doesn't it frustrate you when you, this is the color you want to use, but you want to use that one too on a card and you end up using up that piece. And then we've got some copper clay here. I like that one. And on the back of that one, we've got copper clay. Oh, make sure you sign up for the paper share. It is, I would say, oh here, and then this has got that beautiful um, boho blue with all daisies. You know, at first I thought another daisy set, but this one is unique. So fresh as a daisy, we've got um, Azure Afternoon, Azure, Boho Blue, Bubble Bath, Cajun Craze, Copper Clay, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Lemon Lolly, Moody Mauve, Pebbled Path, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Weed, all of the colors. So I love that you can use all of the colors in that one. And it comes with this really pretty, um, stamp bundle, the Cheerful Daisies, and those Cheerful Daisies have, there we go, these wonderful dies in here to cut out the images, but also look at the detail on these dies. It has um, impresses into your cardstock. So a nice sentiment die too. So this, oh, you can cut out the stems. Oh, so this is going to be a fun one as well. I always put my dies back in so that the words of my die set are on this side so I'm not ever like break, um, well usually what I do actually is I open this up and I make the dies so that I can see the dies. And then I don't put them with this opening here, I put them this way so that I'm never digging into the dies and then I just keep them this way. So Cheerful Daisies, with the beautiful Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. Oh, we have another one. Look at this cute one. So this is the, I think they're calling it the Zoo Crew. I was gonna say Zoo Crew. Zoo Crew, uh, and this is a collection also that will be in the new catalog coming up. It's adorable. Now the thing with this one is You've got the zany zoo, so you've got these images, and these images can be cut out with the zany zoo dies. Get that one open there. 
Ooh, this is so exciting. Oh, sorry, just hit the thing. So we've got the images that can be cut out here. You've got your cute um, little curtain. You can put a curtain on both sides because they're, you know, they demand your attention there. You've got a die here that's a pendant die that you can do your stamping. A little Christmas tree, flowers, balloons. Um, this actually, I do believe, is for... Oh, is that a... I'm not sure what that little piece is there. Hmm, clouds. So uh, little flowers. So a lot of fun things here that you can um, play around with there. So what did I do? I say I put my dies back in this way so I can see them. Oh, and look at that scallop right there. Oh, it's always nice when they throw in one of those dies that really makes um, your die set go a lot further. So the thing about these dies, you can see that some of these um, animals in this designer series paper are cut out, like the alligators cut out on this one. The one thing is um, the rain or shine that we just had, one sheet cut out a lot of them. This one I'm finding that certain pieces, certain ones are cut out, like this one isn't in there. So you're still gonna have that versatility of using your dies on your DSP. You just have to play around and see which ones work. So, you know, like you can see that this bunny isn't on here, so we don't have anything that cuts that bunny out. Okay, so, but these are fun. So we've got the animals, and we've got black and white designs on the other side, which is amazing. Black and white designs are perfect. Oh, look at these guys. And these guys, if you can't cut them out with a die, you can fussy cut them. Look at the white images, you can color them in. And, Here's another one. Some of these will be die cut. Look at this possum. <laughs> um, I love this llama. So if you do want to color your bear brown, you can. And that brown would maybe be your pecan pie. But you can um, play around with those um, animals in there. Okay, here we go. Another fun black and white design. More animals more animals and a oh wait is this the black and white oh and then the black and white design so you're getting that fun black and white design then you've got more animals here look at that deer doing ballet oh they're all doing ballet oh my gosh they're so adorable oh my gosh they're so cute and then black and white design and this one's more predominantly white with the black in it and then you have this adorable, my fingers are not working. There we go. We've got this really pretty paper too. Love that little skunk with the, with the bird on there. You've got a, your little pigs. And then you round that out with another pretty black and white little posy design. So this, this, ah, this is probably, I don't know. One thing about when I do the paper share and I get all the paper in May and I start cutting it, I fall in love head over heels with every pack. So I think that this one is gonna be um, a close runner with that countryside one, the blue one. So this comes in the collection. And we have another fun one that has acetate with balloons. And that one is with the beautiful balloons sweet and it has the beautiful balloons in it yes we've had balloons before but can we really ever have too many balloons I mean fun 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 dies the thing about this set this die here is going to cut fringe when you get your catalogs ladies and gentlemen you're going to notice that there's fringy looking things all through the catalog this is what cuts your fringe amazing a tag balloons balloons a triple balloon smaller balloons stars streamers confetti oh my gosh so many fun things in this stamp set and as I said before, I go back over my blog and I put in balloons and I'm still amazed at all the beautiful balloon stamp sets we have. But each one has just a unique little thing about it. Um, so I just love this one. Look at this beautiful streamer there um, that you can drape across your card. Now this one has a pretty six by six. 
six by six paper, and this is called Bright and Beautiful, and it comes in the suite with the balloons. This one is chuck full of all the beautiful colors, including all the new in colors. Look at that beautiful um, bubble bath in there. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one to play with, with all the new colors in there that you can mix and match. So we've got the Asia Afternoon, the Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, and Pretty Peacock. Pretty much covered all those new ones and returning ones in this paper. So I think we're gonna have fun with this one. And again, it is um, comes with this acetate, and I wanna just take a little peek at this acetate because it has, ooh, here we go. Um, one of the, it comes with two sheets of acetate in here. One of them, oh, isn't that pretty, has the stars and confetti, and you could easily cut this in half and get cards, you know, out of this. So you can cut out through the middle. And then this other one has, it looks like, Am I looking at, let me see how many sheets are in here. Do, 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 do. There are three sheets, because I'm looking at this saying something, oh, there we go. I'm like, something is stuck here. So this one has your streamers and confetti. That was crazy. And this one has polka dots. So, oh my gosh, how fun is that? So you get three different patterns, but when you look at it this way, you're like, whoa, like it kind of looks neat all all on top of each other, doesn't it? <laughs> so that is gonna be a fun acetate to play with too. Okay, now we're gonna get down to something that fell on the floor. Well, let's just take a look at that. The Timeless Arrangements. And that Timeless Arrangements comes with some dies. Here we go. So Timeless Arrangements and it's bundled with the Timeless Arrangement dies. And guys, I'm telling you, my last week of life has been extremely busy, especially I, if you saw my blog post that pre-order day was the day I was flying up to see all my stamping gals in Pittsburgh, and it was crazy. So these, um, <laughs> so I am a little discombobulated here, but I wanted to show you how excited I was about these new things. So you've got these great dies in here that are going to cut these out and look at these little places here. That is for your, I do believe you're going to be able to do like you are the best for my friend. So the little skinny, um, words here are going to fit in there. I do believe, I think so. So we're going to have fun playing with that one. So let's put this back the way I do it, put it this way, then I can always see. There we go. I usually don't put the magnetic ones in me because I do travel a lot with my stuff. And if I put that extra piece of magnetic in there, it just makes my luggage <laughs> heavier. So um, timeless arrangements, great uh, all occasion sentiments and dyes to cut those out. Some pretty um, ornamental flowers and some little circles there. So timeless arrangements, that's gonna be a fun one. I told my friends that I think this is one of my faves. Um, the Lazy Days. I just love, I just love rocking chairs. I love to, um, we went to my parents one time here down in Florida and my husband went missing and everybody's like, where's Jim? Where's Jim? And um, he comes back like, they had just moved into their house and he comes back like 40 minutes later. I said, I don't know where he went. Um, but he went up with Cracker Barrel and bought three of the Cracker Barrel white uh, rocking chairs to put right out in front of my mom and dad's place. And we just, as soon as, well, actually there's four of them. Um, and so we just go there and we sit there and we just enjoy that. And they have really lasted well, but I love, um, the, the rocking chair in there. And it, you also can, um, die cut a textured one from your cardstock, but also the stamped image. Look at that pillow there. You've got, um, like the, your porch, that reminds me of my mom's porch there, that detail, and you've got the little um, railing there. So I just really, really like this one. Um, whenever we were going through all the pre-order stuff, my friend had said, yeah, but the rug looks a little crooked. And I'm like, well, what rug is perfect? I said, I kind of like 
that it looks like it has some waves in it because that's what a rug looks like. Ha! Huh? Little plant there, hanging pot. That's my mom's for sure. So Lazy Days is going to be one of my faves, I think. One of my cute ones I know my little grandie's going to love is this punch bundle. I have to say, I don't have the... I don't have the circle punch one, which I'm bummed out. I forgot to put that on my order. But this little monkey is so cute. So you've got the little monkey. You little monkey. Though I call them little turkeys all the time too. And my oldest granddaughter, who's two in a couple months, pointed to her nephew yesterday, uh, my her cousin yesterday, who's six months old, um, and said turkey, little turkey. And I'm like, oh, she's been paying attention. So we've got little monkey here. So that would be my second granddaughter. She's the little monkey, like climbing over on you, doing gymnastics off of you, just about ready to walk. She's a year and a couple weeks. So little monkey is going to be a fun one with this. Um, it punches out this monkey here, but you have other monkeys. <clears throat> so I could see a card with like stamping the one dimensional monkeys and then popping up this monkey here just swinging by to say hi i'm bananas about you there you go you've got your valentine right there and you've got the fun uh leaf uh leaves and the limb there that they can hang off of so little monkey is going to be a fun one too and then wonderful thoughts this is similar to our charming sentiments and the charming silhouettes guys that um, carry over into the new catalog so this one is one of those ones that you can die cut right along your image and i do find the easiest way look at all those <laughs> that one i think the most challenging thing with wait that's the way i do it no here we go the most challenging thing with these is not being able to necessarily see your words real close so i suggest um die cutting a piece die just taking a scrap die cutting this out of it and then stamp your image put your little leftover die cut right around the image tape it down put your die in run it through you'll get a perfect cut every time and i usually show that on my videos but definitely a great tip for these type of um, stamps and then one more thing i have here is this um, new stamp and cut and emboss embossing folder so this one has some nice details this is in the countryside here that goes with that like look how pretty that's gonna look there with it has that same design in that DSP so I think that this countryside blossoms uh, is gonna be a beautiful beautiful addition to this paper so there we go I think I've covered everything oh we do have some new embellishments in color embellishments these actually are really spot-on too and it covers all of the new in colors what are they again? Boho Blue, Copper Clay, Moody Mauve, Wild Wheat, and Pebbled Path. And those new in colors coming, Azure Afternoon, uh, Pecan Pie, Bubble Bath, Lemon Lolly, and then we're returning. And here's our returning ones. Oh, I don't have the one here. So our returning ones are Blueberry Bushel, Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock, Berry Burst, um, am I missing Pretty Peacock? Wouldn't it be nice to have a list right here beside me? Um, but I did say them one time before. But the other thing is too, once you get your new stamp and write markers because the new in colors are coming out, you are gonna love that bullet tip on the small side now. Um, you're gonna love it. You may be even going to invest in new markers. Um, so those are all the fun new things, the fun new ribbons, and a few other things I have here and there, um, new blends coming out. Um, there will be a bit of a price increase on some of the items, like the cardstock, um, anywhere from like 25 cents to 50 cents on some of the things that is, are going up, occasionally a dollar on product. So take a really good um, <clears throat> look at some of your uh, staples that you need, any of your cardstock. Cardstock is going up 
um, to $10. So if you want to, before the end of this catalog, stock up on your basic white, your black, your neutral colors you use all the time, and maybe some of your uh, seasonal colors that you do, um, that would be good to stock up on some of that. I'm gonna get some a couple extra acrylic plates and definitely some card stock, anything that's carrying over. If you use those colors a lot, um, pick them up before the new catalog comes out because there will be, the price increase is not drastic because everything is going up, shipping's going up. You can see the increase in our groceries. So I'm very pleased that even um, when I did my paper share, it did go up a little bit, but it was not more than like a $5 increase overall for the entire paper share as compared to last catalog, annual catalog. So I was very surprised. So it's, it, you'll notice a nominal increase just with everything that's going on in the world right now, but it's not drastic, which I was very happy about. Um, I do do my paper shares. I have, um, let me show you like a sample. Now this sample, this is a sample of, um, of how I do my paper shares. Every paper share is cut into six by six. You're in an individual um, cellophane bag with um, self-adhesive that can be used over and over and over again. And I label them all so that you know exactly where you can find them, what the item number is, the what's in there, the colors. So you get these nice little um, things that you can display on your desk. And then I do do all my ribbons very nicely and each in their own individual bag and the embellishments the same way. So um, it is definitely the best value that you're going to get in, I'm gonna let you look at these while I'm jabbering on and on, um, because um, I wouldn't be showing you right now because I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> so um, it is, the, the paper share is like the best value you can get because you are getting a piece of everything. Um, so sign up for my paper shares. I um, will be putting out that information by Friday, this week. So Friday this week, I will have that information out. And as I said, uh, it's very reasonable um, as far as any little bit of an increase in the paper. And also, um, when you get all those things and you are not forced to um, buy a whole 12 by 12 pack, maybe you get the six by six and then really like a certain one and then you can invest in the 12 by 12 but i'm telling you hands down the paper share is an amazing value and i would love to be um somebody who helps you with your paper share and i do um my special gift to you when i do a paper share is i do i pay for the shipping to you so you um don't have that extra added onto your paper share so thanks for buzzing by friend if you have any questions you can go to um email me at cindyleeb at gmail.com you can also text me at 724-323-2296 if you have any questions and i'll probably pop on again with a video on wednesday god bless thanks for buzzing by